Do I look excited? Because I am. <laughs> There, don't be rude. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd got the widescreen TV now, don't you? <laughs> no, I, why, I, I can hear you thinking, saying, Craig, why are you excited in your head to yourself, which is what thoughts are. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm very excited because it's the Oscars this weekend and oh, I love Hollywood showbiz things like that. I haven't been this excited since the Golden Globes. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that? I sarcasm? Sarcasm in this room? Yeah, it's a little bit. Uh, I don't. No, I do. I love them. I love the. I love the speeches. I love the actors and their genuine emotion. I love the seeing what everybody's wearing. <laughs> I love the way that women walk down a carpet and then go like that. <laughs> like, why are you doing that? Huh? And then they say, "Who are you wearing?" And I'm like, "What does that even mean?" I like fashion, I do like fashion, but, you know, I like fashion with, um, less actors. <laughs> I do, I like a bit of fashion. Tim Gunn's coming on the show soon, he's fashionable. I, do you know at the end of Project Runway, I loved him, but you know at the end of Project Runway when someone gets voted off and he has to pretend he cares? <laughs> I love that, he says, I'm so sad to see you go. And go and clean up your workspace, get out. Anyway, the Oscars uh, on Sunday, so I'll, I'll be there cheering on my favourite actors. <laughs> Come on, actors, do great for America, I'll be shouting. Come on, beat those British bastards in their accents. And their movies where people have got feelings. I can have those people. Let's have movies about big blue aliens, that's what we want. Aliens and spaceships, not... I'd say, Lord Percy, do you have a moment? No, I don't want any of that. That's what you have to do, though, if you want to win an Oscar. Oh, I'm so terribly upset. <laughs> Some people say, Craig, you're just bitter. And I say, shut up, correct person. <laughs> What's wrong with being bitter? I like being bitter. What's the opposite of being bitter? Perky. Who the Tootsie Fruits wants to be perky? <laughs>
It is, of course. It is, of course, Friday. But it's not just any old Friday. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's right. No, it's not. It's me talking like this, apparently, Friday. No, it's not any old Friday. It's before the Oscars Friday. <gasps> oh! I know. Everyone in L.A. is gearing up for the Oscars. Look, behind me, the whole city is purple with excitement. <laughs> The limos are running, the champagne is popping, the Botox is flowing. <laughs> the most exciting weekend ever! <laughs> I've got Oscar fever, I've got it. I'm gonna have to sleep it off. Luckily, there's nothing on earth puts me to sleep faster than the Ooh -la -la. Oscars. <laughs> so, where we go. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. We can cut that out. <laughs> Do you know, this, this happened today. Do you know a software company has come out with a device that can detect porn on any computer? <laughs> I already have that device that can find <laughs> porn on any computer. It's called my hand. <laughs> That's how you know I'm looking at porn. I go like this. And Sarah Palin's getting her own reality show. It's going to be called So You Think You Can See Russia. <laughs> now, I tell you why I'm... <laughs> we'll never let that one go, will we? No, nor should we. You know, uh, the, what I'm excited about today is that the new Alice in Wonderland movie opens today and it stars Johnny Depp, who plays Alice. <laughs> the Mad Hatter. He plays the Mad Hatter. He could play Alice. He's that good. He's that pretty. He'd be a good Alice. He... He's saying in the interviews that he used a Scottish accent for the Mad Hatter, specifically a Glasgow accent. Now, I am from Glasgow, although I admit my accent's changed. It's thinned over the years, and so is my accent. <laughs> are, you, are you implying your penis got thinner as you get older? <laughs> oh, yes, that's what happens. When I was young, my penis was very fat. <laughs> It was terrible. I used to have to walk in circles, but now... <laughs> anyway, I was, we've got a clip of Johnny Depp with his Glasgow accent. Let's see it. You're absolutely Alice. I'd know you anywhere. I'd know him anywhere. <laughs> now, look, I don't want to be a jerk about this, but that sounds maybe as Scottish as Scotty from the old Scar Trek, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Did I say Star Trek there? I said Star Trek, didn't I? That was before Star Trek when it was about pirates. <laughs> to boldly go over there and then come back. <laughs> no, because they always used to say Scotty from Star Trek was from Scotland. I used to watch it in Scotland when I was a kid. I was like, who's the guy with the Pakistani accent? We didn't know he was meant to be Scottish. He was like, oh, that died with the up crystals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta change a lot of physics. <laughs> I actually don't care if someone accent if the accent is wrong in a movie, particularly a Scottish accent. Some people criticised Mel Gibson's Scottish accent, Braveheart. And when I say some people, I mean a couple of Scottish guys on the internet. I remember that uh, you know uh, they said that one of them said that Mel Gibson sounded like a gay Australian. <laughs> you can take our laws, but you'll never take our freedom. <laughs> Does anyone really know what 13th century Scotsmen sounded like? No is the answer. Maybe in 13th century Scotland everyone sounded like gay Australians. <laughs> it's possible. Ah, oh, these English are really getting more nerves. <laughs> I don't know what this is, by the way. I think in my head, I think in my, <laughs> I think in my head this was a, a gay man holding a sword. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, I'm holding a sword and I'm Australian. I was trying to paint a picture for you, do you see? It was like, whoa, it was like we were watching a gay Australian in 13th century Scotland, and look at him holding that sword. <laughs> what I'm saying is I don't care about that, because there was other things that, about Scotland that were very accurate in Braveheart. The bloodshed, the disemboweling, it took me back to my childhood. I loved it. <laughs> but I'm not talking about Braveheart. I'm talking about Alice in Wonderland. Uh, it's a... Yes, I am. And, uh... <laughs> Thank goodness they got back to it because I was. And it's been it's been, it's been directed by Tim Burton. 
And I'm a big fan of Tim Burton. He's a very, he's known for his distinctive look. Do we have a picture of Tim Burton? There he is. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> now, Alice... <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> Alice in Wonderland was written in 1865 by Lewis Carroll. Now, that was his pen name. His real name was Charles Dodson. A lot of people use na fake names when they write a book. I've written a couple of books. I considered putting a different name on the cover to help sales. I was going to call myself Free Coupons. <laughs> Look at this one, Free Coupons. Let's get it and tag it back to the, our Australian gay love nest. <laughs> Will you put that sword down? No, I, I won't. <laughs> Anyway, Alice in Wonderland, it's, it's about a little girl who follows a white rabbit into a rabbit hole and then meets some crazy people and an angry queen with a big head. Do we have a picture of an angry queen with a big head who's surrounded by crazy people? There you are. I... <laughs> and we're dead to him. We're dead. That's it. I'm never going back on that show. <laughs> Do you see how big my arms are? Look at those. <laughs> Wait a minute, Simon Cowell sounds a bit like a gay Australian, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, no. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. And now, Craig's Spanish word of the day. Today's word is vaquero. Vaquero. Sorry, I'm trying to be a bit more Oscar-y. <laughs> but I end up just looking like another showbiz vaquero. <laughs> My leg's stuck. See, now I'm very excited. Hollywood's a great place when the Oscars. You should, if you ever are planning to come out here for a vacation, first of all, don't. It's crap. But if you do want to come, it's, ter it's, um, it's terrible when people come here. Because oh, those of us who live here, we, uh, we have people who live in the real world, and they come to visit us, and, and they're like, where is everything? I thought there'd be stuff. And I'm like, no, no, it's just, it's kind of like a mall. <laughs> a not very good mall. <laughs> But anyway, uh, the Oscars are here this weekend, and that's great. People come from all over the world to uh, sit for three hours in the Kodak Theatre. Um, yeah. I'm not going, and I'll tell you why. I wasn't invited. Yeah. I don't normally go to these Hollywood parties because I'm not normally invited, and I, uh, I won't go to any this weekend. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand. Trying to look unconcerned and devil may care. <laughs> and I'm trying to make you think I'm stroking an imaginary snake. <laughs> Who's up for the Oscars then this year? There, you get your uh, avatars up. I saw that movie. There's like a lot of movies though. There's like 10 movies up for Oscars. Avatar, um, what was the other one? Uh, the, the, the Tooth Fairy with the Rock. That's up for Oscars. <laughs> What's the other one? Uh, a couple, there's about to be about half a dozen English movies about people learning about stuff. <laughs> What's that? What's that one? Precious. Precious. Oh, yeah, no, Precious. No, that's all right. I saw that movie. That's actually, you know, that's, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Monique's in that, though. I like Monique. She's probably going to win, I think, which is good because... No, you don't think so? Oh, what do you know? I'm telling you. She... <laughs> No, I think Monique's probably going to win. She, uh, she's, uh, she comes here quite a lot, and uh, she's lovely, Monique, lovely woman. I didn't know she was that good an actress, but apparently she is. I, I, I... <laughs> no, I mean, to be fair, I've seen her in a lot of movies like where I thought, well, that's hilarious, but no one's going to be giving you an Oscar for that. And then I saw, this is the interesting thing, I saw Precious where she's not hilarious at all. I didn't laugh once. <laughs> And they're going to give her an Oscar for that one. <laughs> Here's what I think. 
I think that people in the uh, Academy of Motion and Television Picture Arts, the people who vote in the Oscars, I think they're insecure. And I think what happens is this, is that they're frightened to laugh. It's very rare that comedies do well at the Oscars. And the reason is that they're frightened because they don't want to laugh at something and look stupid, <laughs> right? So what they say is, they go, oh, uh, you know, if somebody laughs at something, they go, is that the kind of thing you think is funny? Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> But with dramas, you can't go wrong, because if somebody says, I didn't like that drama, then you can say, oh, really? You probably didn't understand it. <laughs> See, you've covered your bases, and in Hollywood, you've got to do that. You've got to, at all costs, look successful in Hollywood. There's only one, one show that looks terrible and is still on the air. <laughs> special where we're sitting down with actors and really asking them about how they feel about stuff. <laughs> and what it was like to work with George Clooney. That's what I love in these Hollywood shows when they say, what was it like to work with George Clooney? What are they going to say? Oh, I hated him? No! <laughs> Ask somebody a damn question. What was it like working with George Clooney? Oh, George is great. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Surprise. <laughs> I never thought they were going to answer that with, oh, George is great. I thought they were going to say, you know what? I don't care for him, and he smells a bit like we. I mean, just, just, <laughs> just once, if somebody would say something that you did, every damn year, everybody loves everybody else. Ah, oh, shut up! <laughs> and stop thanking God when you win the award. God didn't get you an Oscar! <laughs> What do you think? The creator of the universe, the all power, the mind of, of, of creation is thinking, mm, who gets the Oscar this year? <laughs> Shut up! I don't know. I. <laughs> she was really good in that one. I mean, actually, maybe. Who do I know? But I'm guessing no. All right, stay for the emails and the Twitters. You better play the jingle. Yeah. Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Sheridan. Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And also email. Yeah. Also emails. All right, this is from Ben in Ann Arbor in Michigan. It's an email. He says, uh, Craig, my parents hate my girlfriend and I'm madly in love with her. What do I do? Grow a pair of nuts. No, 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 I don't mean that. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Follow your heart, Ben. Follow your heart. You'll know what to do. CBS cares. Uh, this is from David in College Station in Texas. He says, uh, Dear Craig, do you ever feel bad when you toss away unread emails? <laughs> all right, that's all the emails then. We got some Twitters, we got some Tweeties. Uh, this is from the Tweeties on the Twitters. You know, this is how you know, because there's a bird. The CBS bird of love. <laughs> Do you remember at Christmas, I've told you about this before, last Christmas when CBS did that PSA, and the guy saying, you know, for this Christmas, get your girlfriend a pap smear. <laughs> that was, that was, that was a PSA this Christmas. And I was like, CBS cares? I was like, CBS should mind their own damn business, is what I'm thinking. I mean, of course, of course it's uh, you get screened regularly in health. That's important, but it's not necessarily something you want from your boyfriend for Christmas, is it? 
Well, I was going to get you earrings. No, this is so much better. Thank you. <laughs> Um, this is from Joshua in Napa in Northern California. <laughs> All right, this is from Damien in Los Angeles, California. Now, if I've learned one thing in this life, everybody, it's this. Whenever you get a message from someone called Damien, pay attention. <laughs> because maybe, just maybe, that's who chooses who gets an Oscar this year. You know what I mean? All right. Damien, <laughs> Damien, who lives in Los Angeles, of course. <laughs> Damien says, uh, Craig, what is the best sandwich you've ever had? Oh, well, that's a very disappointing question from someone called Damien, isn't it? I was expecting something like, will you sell your soul for a couple of lights in the studio? I'd be like, let's talk. <laughs> Do you remember when the devil went down to Georgia? And then, in that song, the devil went down to Georgia and then had a violin competition. I don't see it. I just don't see it. I am the most powerful force of evil. I will defeat you using my violin playing. Oh, come on. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll be right back, everybody. Welcome back, and the excitement is uh, mounting here in California as we get closer and closer to Oscar countdown night, where we're thinking about the Oscars and counting down to the Oscars. <laughs> counting the seconds until we can wait for a long time. <laughs> the tie's a bit short tonight, isn't it? Off. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Where's my technical Oscar, eh? Where's mine? And the award for best pant adjustment goes to... <laughs> my first guest tonight is a very good actor. He stars in Parenthood, which is on Tuesday nights on NBC. <laughs> Take a look at this. What do you think? Okay, you don't like it. I have others. Let me no, try no, them on. No, no, Wait, no, no, Katie, Katie, listen. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work out this weekend. Crosby, if you're back with that bimbo waitress, Brandy, or that pseudo activist, okay, honey, honey, wavy I'm, I'm actress not back person, with anyone? Just tell me the truth. Why, it's almost as if those crafty TV people are trying to encourage me to watch. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Dax Shepard, everybody, Dax Shepard. We purposely did that so I could act out the end of that scene oh. live. It's the first time All ever. Right, I'll be the, I'll be the right, lady right, in the... Yeah, in the right, in right. What's going on? Are you going... I'm sorry, this is just... I don't mean no, any no, disrespect you, to the actress that... You that, sound that, like Johnny Depp. Uh, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Are you from Scotland? Uh, no, Pakistan. <laughs> oh, okay, right, uh, great. <laughs> what's going on? Why are you not looking at me in my lingerie? Uh, <laughs> You're, it's like you're channeling her. Yeah, it's yeah. so similar. Now, we might recast her. That's now. a I've very seen attractive this. young lady wearing an outfit like yeah, that. That's, right? uh, that's a tricky game you're uh -huh. in there, pal. Yeah, wow, right? Yeah, whoops, yeah. a daisy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they basically, I'm the only single person on the show, really, so, which means I Ca get all character, the action. A single character on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, in yeah. real life. No, no. Don't very, touch very me, spoken You earn the touch. Don't just touch so, like that. In the show, oh, I. Oh, that you meant the fabric. Yeah, all right. That's genuine Bob Barker cast off right there. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. 
I got one of his hats from it's the collection. It's a nice, yeah, I yeah. like this hat. Yeah, thank it's you. Very nice, yeah. I'm, I'm wearing hats this year. Really, why? Yeah, it's just one of my resolutions. Do you wear hats in the movie? Yes, this is borrowed from the show. <laughs> <laughs> I said movie, I meant yeah. show. It gets know. very, um, you know, uh, expensive to have a, a wardrobe to come promote the show. You, you can't do the same outfit more than once, right, I'm told. So you have to start stealing from work if you're in that. <laughs> Let me stop you there, okay, Dad. All right. <laughs> I, I think you're in education. danger. I mean, I know you and I like you, and you're from Detroit, but you're, yes. you're, you're, you're in danger of going a little bit Hollywood. You think so? Well, yeah, I mean, the idea of you can't wear the same thing twice, come on, man. Well, like, back to back on two different talk shows, people will go, God, that guy's clothes must be dirty. If for nothing else, just the sanitary and th and implications. That, can, that could be your kind of like your trademark. Oh, there's dirty that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like a real life pig pen. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> that's, his, that's his thing. Like, yeah. you know, like George Clooney, everybody loves him. Yeah. You could be the He's guy who's wearing those pants since 87. Yeah, 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 I don't know right. how he holds them together. Yeah, exactly. All full of duct tape and. <laughs> now, listen, do you like duct tape? I love it. I love it. I've been a lifetime fan of it. I but like... Gorilla Tape, have you tried this? No, I don't know. Gorilla I hope tape. you have a plasma torch to get it off of whatever you put it on. You're because this me. stuff that, is indestructible. Sticky? Yeah, Gorilla Tape. Look into it. Yeah, I like the idea of this. Now, how did you come across this stuff? Are you still uh, cars? I was just perusing the aisles at Home Depot, and right. anything with a gorilla on it, I'll try once. Yeah, me too. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I get this stuff home and I give it a trial run and the two items I fasten together with it, they're permanently together now. It's better than welding. May I ask... Uh, you know I'm the spokesperson for Gorilla yeah, Tape, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think you have to morally say when you're the spokesperson of something. You don't have to morally promoting. do anything. This is okay. LA. Yeah, right. no, you're good. Hey, what are you doing for Oscar weekend? Are you doing anything exciting? I'm going to Tebow it. And then, because what I like to do is then for a week, every time I see someone, I go, don't tell me who won the costumer award. Right. I T-voted. Right. Like it's a sports game. That's right. my plan. Like, I, have, I don't know who won the Super Bowl yet. I'm going to watch that in April. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. I know. Um, no, I'm, I'm excited about the oh, Oscars. Oh, you're lying. No. Yeah, come on. I'm a little bit, I'm kind of protesting because I think Sam Rockwell should have been nominated for Moon because he was like mind blown. That, Did uh, you see it? No. Okay. Yeah. Let's go now and watch it real quick. Is and, it, and is it one of those movies where like, you know, people learn things? Because I'm very against that. No, right now, yeah. there's no learning. I like Kung in Fu, fact, you Kung have... Fu and Death. That's okay, what I want in my movies. In fact, I knew less after watching the movie than I did before it started. Ah, now you have my right? attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll like, erase like, bad memories. Yeah, like a, a, like a big HD pop brownie. Right, right there. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I like that. That was the working title was Pop Brownies in no. Outer Space. <laughs> and then they changed it to Moon. It's probably for you the You know, best. the moon is made of marijuana cheese. I didn't know that. I sound like an Wait. advocate for marijuana. I'm Are not. You, you, I, I, no, I, you're uh, saying that so you hope the people go, he mentioned marijuana, let's send them some. Right, That's what right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 Especially if there's like gorilla brand marijuana. Gorilla, then it's yeah, a you, double whammy. You tape the marijuana yeah, right. to yourself. If I see then... a gorilla smoking a doobie, then. Lights That'd be out. Awesome. I'd laugh my ass off. Yeah, if right? I said that. Yeah, I'd be fine. You'd feel like you had already ingested it. Yeah. It'd take you right to the effects. I don't anymore. I feel like I'm on it right now. That's where this conversation's gone. I, I'm so I, sto lost. I stopped taking all drugs and all alcohol yeah. in 1992, and I still feel a little bit stoned. Okay, right. <laughs> Yeah, I have some neurons that not have not connecting still. Yeah, I think you know you get some residual. Pain. Yeah, you do what you, what you can with what you got left. Mm. I think we're both on TV yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. so hey, yeah, you're doing okay. It could be worse. Right, you got absolutely. A hat, uh, yeah, I get Bob Barker's old pants. I mean, we're all right. yeah. I think we're hitting it out of the park. Yeah, pff, no way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, right. right. So now yeah, we're done, really. Uh, wait, wait, no, no, I want more. No, no, no. What, what we could do is, uh, you want to do an awkward pause? Ooh, I'd love it. Well, what we do, we, we, this is a very pause. special guest we do this for. Okay. It's, uh, what we do is at the end of the interview, we just uh, end it with an awkward pause. I'd love that. All right, you ready? Just tell me when you're ready. Okay, let's go. Okay.
for that. Let me fix it just a little bit. Hello, Craig. It looked like you had cauliflower will, will ears. Will you let me introduce you? Oh, yes. Yeah, all right, then. I'll try to shut up. Yeah, that's all right. Let me do it. I'll butter. All right, you butter. <laughs> the greatest, most beloved cook in America, everybody. The adorable. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, sorry. That is I'm so not sweet. finished. Oh. I've got to see you. Paula Dean, everybody. Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank y'all so much. My husband just finished reading your book. I've got a cold. Sorry. My husband. You tell just... me that after I kiss you, you've got a cold. I know. And you licked the butter? I licked the butter. Okay. okay. So, I, I won't give it to you, though. I'm, I'm not contagious any longer. Okay. So, anyway, my husband just finished reading your book. Uh -huh. And he said it was so good. Oh. He said he loved your story, and you've got such a sense of humor. <laughs> How old are you? What year were you born? 1962. I'm 47. 62? No, 47. I was born in 62. That's what I'm saying. What? I was born in 47. Now, were you born in 47 or 62? Well, Gene, everybody. Now, what are you going to make for us, Paula? What's going on? You are 47. Yeah, I'm 48. You are so. a baby. Oh, I love you. See, that's great. Such a baby. I've got some good crap for yeah, you. Yeah, what you got? You got? Oh my God, my oh, bechamel. Oh. oh, what's that? It's a bechamel sauce. For a you. bechamel sauce? Yes. I have no idea what that All right, is. I'm gonna cut this off. All right. I don't know how, Craig. I don't. I'm sorry. All right, I got it. I got it. I'm I got having it. a lot of trouble with your accent, so, Paula. <laughs> You've got an accent too. I have a little bit. Yeah. So, anyway... Yeah, what are you making, then? I, Michael, Michael, like every um, Christmas dinner, mm -hmm. Michael does one of his dishes, and it's... Uh, Michael, your husband? Yes, Michael, my husband. Right. Yeah. I don't know where he is. He's somewhere here. Okay. But we do twice-baked potatoes, y'all, so if you just beat up those potatoes... Beat my potatoes? Beat your potatoes. <laughs> you, you had me at potatoes. Listen, uh, us usually I bring meat for my men to beat, but, Oh, that's all right. There's uh, meat here. Why you, why you haven't been on the show before? All right, I I'm... heard you over break. It's all right. Oh, no. no. Hey, do, do you know my trick about potatoes? Have you ever heard this? Is this mashed no, potatoes? I love your accent. Yeah, yes. I like your accent, It's going to be mashed potatoes yeah. when you get through beating them. All right, right. But here's my trick for mashed uh -huh. potatoes. Uh-huh. An egg. Put an egg in. Okay. Yeah, have you got one? I have none. No, well, that's a shame, because you put an none. egg in mashed potatoes. You know what it does? It makes them stiff. Stiff? <laughs> You may want to try that on your meat sometime as well. <laughs> hey. I will remember that. It crap. works actually. Yeah, and really so nice. you don't really cook it, right? No, you just you wait until the you, mashed potatoes are cooked, uh -huh. then you just put the egg in and voila. Uh huh. That that makes sense. Right. Well, I don't have an egg, but I do have for you, darling. Yeah. Mayonnaise, sour cream, onions, bacon, and uh. Some more green Some green stuff, yeah, yeah, all right. Uh, uh, is this the bacon? Is that That's the bacon, so bacon. just all right. Do we have everything. any more bacon? Yes, right here. Yeah, all right, let's put some more bacon just in there. Just squeeze it up. some bacon. Well, we got to kind of chip it up. Well, I'll chip it up when I'm mashing it. It'll get okay. chipped up. There you go. Okay. What are you making, then? That's I'm making it. perfect. All right. That's perfect, Craig. All right, what are you... Are you married? Yeah. Uh, do you have any children? Yeah, I do, actually. Do you have any children? Yes, I do. Right. I've got two that I gave birth to, and then two from Michael, courtesy of Michael. Michael gave birth to them? Yes. <laughs> Man, you sure do things different in the South, don't you? <laughs> you know, they, they say our family tree don't fork in the South. <laughs> you can't say fork on CBS. <laughs> I can't say fork. No. Well... <laughs> All right, so what right, we got? Well, so, you, I'm making the twice well, baked potatoes. Look, you haven't got any of this stuff in there, honey. Oh, All man. you threw in was the All right. bacon. All right. Well, All right. you know, I'm a dude. I want to make sure bacon's in there and somewhere. Look, we've got, what is this? Uh, I don't oh, know. Oh, that's you... our shrimp. Oh, all right. 
I can't see too good. We're gonna fold. <laughs> we're gonna fold those shrimp in. Fold the shrimp Charlie. in. Uh huh. And then we're gonna stuff them back in our potatoes, and this right. is what we they look like when they oh, get through. Oh, some already done. You yes. see, like a proper yes. show. Yes. Oh, great. Let's try it. Yes, I want you to. All right. Uh, all right. These are delicious, y'all. Mm. And um, every Christmas day, I serve a standing rib. <laughs> serve a standing rib and these twice baked potatoes. Yeah, Do you like uh, them? Yeah, keep talking. They are good, aren't they? Yeah. They are good. Mmm, mmm. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, you are. Right. dish. All right. I've been eating it all my life, y'all, but I didn't know until I went to Paris that it had such a fancy name. What's it called? And it's called Croque Masseur. <laughs> Did I say it right? Absolutely. Good. <laughs> so, actually, the ham and cheese sandwiches, y'all, but in Paris, they got that fancy name. Well, they're they're French. It's their language. Oh, you know, they're, they're not trying to show off. They've just got a different language. I it's love just, their language. It's very nice. They've got know. the most beautiful um. accent. <laughs> Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Oh, and y'all talking about this thing. Uh-oh, it's got a little hair on it. That's what, that's how they eat them in France, with a little yeah. bit of hair on it. Yeah, so it looks hair on it. Yeah, a little bit of hair on it. <laughs> you are so funny. Yeah, you know what? This is the best thing we've ever you've done in this show. You've got a wicked, you've got a wicked sense of humor. I have, I, I tell you. I love it. I'm... Because I don't like to take myself too seriously. No, I know. All right, so. You got cheese there, yeah. On the so we got cheese and we got bechamel. Don't try this at home, everybody. It's very technical. Oh cheese my gosh. on top of it. Oh. I just saw these over there at that store, Sir Latab. I love them. What? Yeah, those placemats. They're oh gorgeous. yeah, they're nice. Yeah, don't try and get these at home, okay. everybody. <laughs> All right. So now you're not helping me. Oh, this me. is the uh, Emily Deschanel sauce, it's, isn't it? The who? <laughs> It's bechamel. Bechamel, bechamel sauce, yeah. All right, now, if you just put, like, half of it on this, and then we're going to come back and um, put some more bread and some more ham and more cheese. I adore you. <laughs> oh, I adore you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll take a break. We'll take a break. Will you let me come back? Yeah, yeah, we'll come back. We're going okay. to keep cooking. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. What did we learn tonight? Never mind. Um, that the French have some name for ham and cheese. Yes, now, that croque madame. Croque madame, croque croque monsieur. madame means it's got an egg on it. <laughs> like a breast, like a fried egg. And masseur is just flat. <laughs> That's what we learned on the show. Now, why are you in L.A., by the way? Can Let you tell me tell y'all why I'm in L.A. All right. I've had the most wonderful privilege, Craig. Mm. Uh, my partner's at Smithville, this fabulous ham that you've been eating. A nice ham, yeah, good ham. Yes. Yeah. Uh, myself, Smithville, and the UFCW came in yesterday, y'all, to drop protein to the food bank here in L.A. That's nice. And we brought in 38,000 pounds of protein. That's good. Right. Nice. Yes, yeah. and that that just thrills me because uh, I love feeding people, and y'all, we got a little problem here in America. It's not the man on the street, Craig, but it's the working hungry that are out working and trying to well, do no, better well, for themselves. No, I just feel guilty, Paul. I don't kind of eat. All right. I do yeah, too. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. The love 